Hello students, welcome to our Eyes of Talent. Student, I am your maths teacher, Abhita Sharma. Students, we are going to start a very new chapter today and that is construction. Okay students, so in your 10th standard, you are having a chapter named construction, right? Now students, I have taught you triangles and I have taught you circles, right? And you have already learned how to construct the lines, how to bisect them, how to bisect an, uh, bisect an angle in your previous class, that is class 9. But don't worry, no need to worry here because we are going to uh, have a quick revision of what we have done in our previous standard right so for this chapter i'm going to introduce with the construction now what is construction the construction is not like this in that dot dot the the construction which is going on in your uh, maybe uh, like uh, in the next colony or at your home it's not about that construction construction is what to make something okay and here we are having construction of circles triangles etc right students so let's discuss the very first basic thing what is the very basic first thing of geometry yes line okay so if i'm talking about line if i am talking about line and i'm telling you that you having a line let's suppose a b you are having this line now you have to divide it in some proportion let's say that uh, a b is a line and you have to divide it into let's suppose 1 to 2 ratio or 3 to 4 ratio or 7 by 8 ratio so how will you do that you are having different methods we, have, we, uh, we will basically learn two methods for this now you are having an angle you are having some angle let's suppose this is your angle now you have to make similar angle on this line this line you have to make a sing, uh, similar angle how will you do that the one thing you can have your protector over there and measure the angle other than that how can you make this equals to how can you make that angle equals to this angle so there are something you uh, some tricks tacks you will use here okay so we'll learn them okay so one by one we are going to learn them and i will be having your first topic as what line now talking about line i'm having this this is what this is my line and if i say this is a and this is b line means it's going infinite for, uh, in this direction and infinite in this direction this is line one okay so two is this that if i have some point a and have some point b on this line which is infinite so this a b is what this a b which is of finite length is my line segment okay because Construction is what? A part of geometry. Now, if you are doing the part of geometry, you should uh, be have very familiar, you should have, you should be very familiar with the small, small terms right there. Okay, now this is a line segment. This line is going infinity from this side and from this side. But what if I am having some definite point here and from this side it is going infinite. I will call it a ray. So, here is a difference between ray, line segment and line, right students, okay. If I am having this line segment and I am having more than uh, two line segment and they are like, uh, like this, mm, they are having a close figure, right. So, basically this A, B, C, D, E having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 sides, sides. I have used word not line, not line, not line segment or not ray. I am using the word sides. So, these line segment become in our language sides here. This AB will be side of this what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pentagon. This is a polygon. 
we'll call it pentagon because it's having five sides so this is the difference between line line segment side ray right okay okay students this is about what we call it right and how to construct it okay so we'll start with that so we are having some line a b so let's have a line a b here okay so i'm drawing a straight line a b now students we are going to construct something so you are having some basic things for this construction this is your scale in your geometry box you are having scale you are very known and very familiar to this scale okay the other thing is you are uh, you are having this divider right this divider where uh, you are having two edges there right no pencils here only the edges here okay so this is what this is your divider okay this size will be you know uh, somewhat very less from this but uh, i'm using it for blackboard and it uh, should be very visible to you guys so because i'm uh, using this kind of size but in your geometry box that box you will be having in a short size right now you'll be having a protractor this protractor like this in this protractor you'll be having angles from 0 degree to 90 and then 180 degree right students okay right so you'll use these basic things so i'm having a line here okay so i'm having a line here ab now what we are discussing we are discussing that dividing a line segment in given ratio in given ratio right and here it comes yes this compass you'll be using this compass we are here we are having one the sharp edge here and in that in that particular for next section second section you'll be inserting a pencil a pencil nib okay now what will you do if you have to divide let's suppose divide this line segment you have given with the question in 3 by 4 ratio so how will you do that how will you do that now you will be telling me ma'am will be having a line of 4 cm and will mark at 3 or we will be having a line of 8 cm and will mark at 6 so that will be dividing it in now i am not telling you to use scale okay you have to do this with your compass okay you don't have to mark it with scale you have to use it a compass because this ab line can be of any length it can be of uh, uh, 1.75 cm either okay so it's not gonna work always scale, with scale you can't do this okay so here how will you do this this is line ab line segment ab now what will i do i will i will have a line or ray i can say a ray at any angle let's say any angle i'm having a line there okay so this is my line or i can say ray and this is point x okay so this is ax on this uh, ray and uh, ha i'm having some angle here okay now what i have to do what ratio 3 by 4 right now 3 by 4 ratio so 3 and 4 the major one is 4 so i'll be i will be using 4 here okay so what i will be doing i am having this divider and you just have to what you have to mark what four points there so i'll be tightening it up okay and i'll mark this point here and cut an arc like this and then on this line okay if you're not able to see this this is the mark we have got this is the arc we have cut okay now the say a second with the same 
okay now cut this here that will be your second point then cut this here that will be your third point and again then again then again 1 2 3 4 5 6 now do what have this again 7 so what i'm having these seven points i will name it like a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 and a7 so what i've created i've created seven points on this unknown measurement line now what will i do i'll simply connect this last a7 to this b okay so with the help of scale with me you know if you are um, if you are having this class on construction we prepare in each and every lecture to have your geometry box with you pencil rubber eraser all the things with you sharpener even okay and then we'll talk about this so you'll do what from this point a7 you'll meet this b okay so i meet this why i created seven points here because we are having three by four ratio here so three plus four equals to what it's equals to seven students right so i have created seven parts here now three ratio four so i have to count one two three here now i have an angle here I have an angle here and I have to make parallel line. I have to make parallel line on what? 3. 1, 2, 3. On A3, I have to make a parallel line. To this line, which line? This To this line, BA7. This is BA7 line. To this line, BA7, I have to make a parallel line that will start from point A3 and will cut this line. A, B. So, how will you do that? How will you uh, make a similar angle? 1. Okay. So, this is the method you will make. If you are having this line and having this specific angle given. So, what will you do? You will, you will have the, your compass here and you will just measure at this point, at this particular point it cuts or if you are not able to do uh, do it with this here it comes your divider okay it will work for you you have to measure this angle right and on which line you have to make it like i have to make it on this right so what i'm having this one so i will draw this line okay now I'm having this measurement, this angle size. Okay, so I can just cut it here. So it will be like this. So I'll be getting a point here. So I will what? Just meet this starting point to this point and have an side here. Okay, so I'll do this here with the help of these instruments. Your Okay, so we will be having this angle. So, what this angle is? Can I use this? Okay, so at A7, right? I will be making this. And again at A3. So, with the same. Now, it is time to measure this angle. Now, this angle is, okay, I can use this. So, this is the arc length. So, I am going to do what? I am going to put this here and I will be having a point here, right there. So, okay, it is a point here. So, what now I have to do? I have to just meet these two points. I have got this A3 and this point, okay. So, I will be meeting them and this line will what? Cut this point at some point C. Now, by this construction, this AC 
by the CB will be equals to what? 3 by 4. Why? Because this line is parallel to this line. Right students? This line is parallel to this line. Why? Because we have constructed it like this. This angle is equal to this angle. So, this line will be parallel to this line. Right students? And this is a cutting line. Okay. So, what will happen? You know the similar triangles. This angle is equal to this angle. Okay. And this angle will also be equal to this angle. Right? Again, these two parallel lines. And by angle-angle similarity, these two triangles are similar. So, what will happen? This ratio this will be equal to this ratio this. Now, this ratio this is 3 by 4. We have constructed it. So, AC by CB will be equal to what? Again, 3 by 4. So, this is how we divide a line. This is the first method. This is the first method, students. Okay. So, after knowing your first method, we will move towards what? The second method. We will move towards Okay, I am discussing it in detail, but when we will doing the questions, I will not be uh, telling you each and everything in this detail because we have already discussed it here. Okay, we will be directly having this, what the ratios, the proportions of sides like, okay. Now, the second method, again, I am having this line, which is AB. So, okay, I am having this line which is AB. So, I am having that line which is what? A and B. Now, I am having, I have to do the same. I have to divide it in some proportion. Okay. So, what will I am uh, going to do? I will be have any line here so this line let us say x right now what you have to do you have to make a similar angle here so now at this point this and this will be what this and this will be what parallel lines because this angle equals to this angle. So, these two angles are equal though. So, that means that particular line that we will be make will be made and this line will be parallel to each other. Then we will use the concept there. So, how will you do that? You know how to do this? You will use your what? Compass here, right? And make an arc. Okay. So, you will be making an arc here okay same arc you will be making here this side so this side you will make another arc now what you have to uh, do you have to use your divider now you will be measuring this angle why use this because it, do, it does not change the sides okay when I am doing something. So, I will just be having this now this cut line over here. So, I can just mark it by pencil. Okay. In your case, it is pencil. In my case, it is you know chalk. Now, what I am going to do? I will be meet this point what I have got to be and let us see what it looks like. It looks like this. Let us suppose at some point y. Now, I am having this line ratio. Let us say this was um, 3 by 4. I am having this as 4 by 3. Now, if it is 4 by 3, so what I have to do? This particular thing will be 4 and this particular thing will be, this particular ratio will be 3. So, what I am doing? I will be having 4 
arcs here and will be cutting three arcs here okay the first one here the second one there okay so what i'm going to do is i'll be using this for sure and i'm going to tighten it okay always tighten it so that your this distance will not be changed now this is first this is second this is third and this is fourth so one two three four and this side i'm having threes okay so that will be one two and three what i've made i have made the created i have created the po uh, points a1 a2 a3 and a4 and also b1 b2 b3 such that a a1 equals to a1 a2 equals to a2 a3 equals to a3 a4 equals to b b1 equals to b1 b2 equals to b2 b3 so these all are equal now what i have to do is simply meet a4 to b b3 this is b3 students okay to correct it it's b3 so i just have to meet these one and two two points right so now you can see that we are having four uh, arcs here and we have cut it we have cut three arcs here so this will be the four and this will be the three ratio so i have divided this line into four by three ratio so this was the first method and this was the very second method for the same for dividing a line in given proportion so note this now students you will wonder how is this possible that this line let's suppose we are having a point c here so this by this ratio is the exact ratio of this and this why it's possible because we have constructed only this we haven't construct, uh, constructed these two so we can apply the similarity concept in this what similarity concept that if you have this triangle a c a4 and this triangle c b 3 b what you will see that this angle c equals to angle c these are vertically opposite angle and by construction i have made this angle equals to this angle right so angle a equals to angle b now you know students by angle angle similarity these two triangles are similar right so i can write this uh, like a triangle a c a4 equal uh, similar to what triangle b c and what is the remaining b c and b3 right okay so i can say that this a c by b c this ac by bc will be equals to aa4 if i pick aa4 from here i have to pick bb3 from here b b3 so a aa4 bb3 so these these two ratios these ratios will be equals to this ratio now this ratio is 4 by 3 by construction so this will be again 4 by 3 so here we apply the concept of similarity to have this construction done right so this is the method how you construct what or you divide a particular given line into the given ratio or in the given proportion students now i can easily uh, know this or i can uh, easily consider this that you have all understand this all because i have clearly you know constructed it on this green board right so you have to you have nothing to do you just have to do it with me you just follow the steps that i am doing here so that you can practice it more okay students so i hope you have noted it so i am rubbing it
Okay, students. Now we are having another topic, which is construction of construction of similar triangle. Now, students, tell me what is similar triangle. And you know, I'm literally wanting the answer from your side because we have discussed this probe, uh, complete triangle chapter in our lecture. So you have to know this, right? So you do, you you do know. I suppose you do know that what the similar triangle is. If a triangle, let's suppose ABC, is similar to this triangle PQR. I am just reminding you that if triangle, let us suppose this is P, P, Q, R and this is A, B, C. So, in my opinion, you all know that the ratios of the sides will be equal. That is P, Q, this by this by A, B will be equals to P, R by A, C. And this QR and this BC. Okay, so this is the property one. The second thing is with this you are having angle P equals to angle A and angle Q equals to angle B and this angle R equals to angle C. Right, students? So we are having these two things. So, what? Constructing a triangle having the same angles or constructing two triangles which are having same proportions, so any proportion of the sides. So, you, you can give, you have, uh, you, you can be provided with the angles to be made and you can be provided with the ratios of the sides. So, we will work first with the ratios of the sides. So the ratio of the side will be given to you and you have to make a triangle, a similar triangle to the given triangle, right? And it's so easy, believe me, okay. So note this, so we can move forward, right students? Okay, students will be having a question directly here. So, in this particular question, you have to construct a triangle. You have to construct a triangle similar to given triangle ABC given triangle ABC okay you have to construct a triangle similar triangle to a given triangle ABC with its sides equal to 3 fourth with its side equal to 3 by 4 of the corresponding sides corresponding sides <coughs> of triangle of other similar triangle or other triangle let us say. Now, students will go only how to construct it part and we will be constructed in a better way, in a proper way in our next lecture. Okay, so I am giving you an idea, rough idea. You have to uh, make it yourself. You have to construct it yourself. Now, what is given is, let us suppose I am having any random triangle A, B, C. So, I am making rough diagram here. You do not have to make the rough diagram here. Right, so it will be, let us suppose A is here, B is here and C is here. Now, what will you do? You will draw 
a line here making an acute angle with this line BA. Okay, now what will you do? You are having this 3 by 4 ratio. Okay, so you will be cutting arc of equal length like B1, B2, B3 and B4 such that B, B1 equals to B, B, uh, B1, B2 equals to B2, B3 equals to B3, B4. Now what will you do? You will meet this B4 to A. After meeting these two points, what will you do? You will be having some angle here. Now you have to have the ratio by 3 by 4. So 1, 2, 3 here. Now 3 here. So you will be having, you will, be, uh, you will make a line parallel to this line. Before A, how will you make it? You will have the same angle to this. So, your angle B, B3, let us say A dash it. Okay. So, your angle A, A dash B3, B will be equals to A, B4, B. Okay. Now, what you will do? Right. Now, what will you do? You will be having this point here. Right. So, after this, students, After this students, you are having this angle, okay. Now what you have to do, you just draw a exact angle right there. How will you do? Again, you will make an arc here and cut this arc here, okay, in, in this place. So, this and then this and you will be having this line. Let us suppose this line is nothing but what? C dash. So, this B C dash. A dash will be your similar triangle to B, C, A and having the proportional size uh, uh, side corresponding to the this one is 3 by 4 that is C dash B is 3 by 4 of C, B. Similarly, A dash C dash will be 3 by 4 of what? Mm -hmm. This is in this we will be having AB. Now, this is what A dash B. Now, which is less this A dash B. So, this A dash B is what 3 by 4 of AB. Similarly, if you take this AC or CA, that will be 3 by 4 of what c dash a dash now you can have the third side exactly like that okay students so try to construct it and we'll meet in next uh, lecture having the construction of this particular question and we'll do some amazing construction in this chapter okay students till then take care thank you bye